Hey everybody, it's me again. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about self-sabotage. It's kind of a lesson I've been learning lately. Um, patience. Patience is something that I guess we like to think we have. It's kind of like being stubborn. You don't want to admit that you're stubborn, but actually you fucking are. Um, I think that when it comes to um, self-sabotage, we, we sort of, it, it comes from a place of impatience. Say in a relationship, you're talking to a guy or a girl, whatever, talking to a person that you like, they've been dating for a minute, and maybe they don't text you back right away when you tell them you had a hard day. Or maybe, um, Maybe they do something that bothers you. I don't know. Um, and maybe you tell them, uh, it, it could be anything. As women, especially for me, you tend to always want things when you want them or in a job. And you happen to be in a place where perhaps you start having doubts in any situation that you want to work out, you start having these doubts about yourself. Maybe the person's not texting me back because they don't like me. Maybe they're with somebody else. Maybe my boss doesn't like me. Maybe he doesn't think that I did a good enough job. Maybe it's this, maybe it's that. And so you start manufacturing all these problems in your head and then they manifest because you've already manufactured them in your head. Rather than think that way, believe in yourself believe in who you are you know rather than think maybe they're not buying my art because they don't like it maybe I'm just maybe I should give up maybe I'm just not a very good artist well first of all Van Gogh sold like one painting his entire living life that doesn't say anything about your talent whether or not this person sells their art and you don't that has nothing to do with how talented you are Talent comes from the inside, not from other people's opinion. Another person's opinion of you doesn't change who you truly are. You could, a person could tell you that you're the worst person in the world. Does that really change how fabulous you are? If a person goes up to me and says, Diana, you have straight hair, would it actually change the fact that my hair is really curly as fuck? No, it wouldn't. And in the same way, it seems stupid, but in the same way, Self-sabotage comes from these fears that you have of yourself. Believe in yourself, believe in who you are, believe in your art, believe in your talent, and manifest positive things in your life from that. Rather than creating things from a place of fear, creating things from a place of destruction, because fear, you know, is destructive you know, especially in relationships, especially in any, in any aspect of your life, it's going to be destructive um, because it doesn't come from a place of peace. It doesn't come from a place, there's, uh, you know, everything that you're doing then comes from a place of fear. And you wanna act in love, in perfect love, in perfect, in perfect love, love yourself. How do you take care of your kids if you have children? You love them, you take care of them. If your kid is down, how do you make them feel? Or if you have pets, or if you have stepchildren, whatever. How do you love on another person? Love yourself even harder. And when you start having those doubts about your art, or about the relationship, or whatever, remember to love on yourself. Remember you're good enough just the way you are. You don't have to try too hard. You don't have to try to get somebody's attention. You don't have to try to get your boss to like who you are, like your work. Simply believe in yourself and do your best. And the rest will manifest in a positive way, always from love, always positive. Again, if you have any questions, if you um, want to see my art or read my blog or um, if you want to book a session with me, it's thecraftaholic.com and thanks again. Bye!